What's up YouTube? You're with Got That Funk and uh, I swear this will be my last video for today. Um, I was just reading my newspaper, uh, which I buy just to skim really and do the puzzles at the back. But I came across a story that I found a little bit uh, interesting and, and, and kind of perturbed me a little bit, so I thought I'd share. Um, apparently there's a judge in Tennessee that uh, took it upon herself to rename someone's child for them. Um, the parents were having a dispute over what the child's last name should be. Um, obviously one parent wanted it to be their last name and the other parent wanted it to be the other last name and there's obviously a bit of uh, animosity between the two. So they go and uh, try to get a judge to decide, but the judge decides to give the child a double barrel last name with both parents' last names, which I suppose is a, a nice compromise. But she changed the child's first name even though that wasn't up for discussion by either parent. The child's first name was Messiah. And the judge said, and I quote, the name was earned by only one person and that person is Jesus Christ. Uh, well, I got a couple things to say about that. First of all, um, as far as I know, you don't have to earn your name. Uh, your parents give it to you and uh, if you don't like it when you get to be 18 years old you can change it yourself uh, by going to court or doing whatever procedures there are locally for you. Um, number two, um, according to this article the name Messiah is the fourth most popular name for new babies in 2012. So it's not as if you're changing much by changing the name of one baby. Um, and furthermore uh, the rationale of the judge said, and I quote, it could put him at odds with a lot of people and at this point he has had no choice in what his name is. A thoroughly ironic statement from someone who's forcing a new name on someone without their consent as well. Um, do I think the name Messiah is inherently distasteful? No, I don't. Um, a name or any word for that matter is simply a collection of sounds and we choose to give those collections of sounds whatever meaning we do. Um, but Messiah is neither here nor there uh, to me. Um, I don't find it offensive. I can't imagine why anybody would find it offensive really because at the end of the day it's just a name. Not a title. It's a name. And whose business is it of anyone to change someone else's child's name? Why should anyone care what someone else calls their kid? Um, I understand there must be some reasonable exceptions to that, um, but as a parent who has two grown children, um, both of whom have very unusual names, I feel pretty strongly that it should be up to the parents to decide what to name their children. And if the children find that name to be inappropriate, when they come of age, they can do something about it. That's as it should be. Alright, uh, thank you for watching this video, and until next time, may all your ups and downs be ups.